Hi everyone, welcome to Mash Math. Today we are going to study chapter 11 constructions, exercise 11.1, question 4. Construct the following angles and verify by measuring them by a protractor. So already we have seen these two videos. In this video we will see how to construct 135 degree. First we will draw the ray. Okay, so let's name it initial point. I write A. This is B. Okay, now take the compass. You can open it as you wish. Okay, then keep A as a center and draw one semicircle. Okay. Now, don't change the measure. The same measurement keep at the point where this line and the semicircle intersecting at that point and then keep one cut. So, this is 60 degree. Okay. Now, on this point where it is intersecting, again one more cut you give. This becomes 120 because first is 60, then another 60. So, total 120 another 60 let us take okay another 60 will give us 180 means this point is 60 this point is 120 this point is 180 because straight angle right when you join it will become straight line so straight angle 180 okay Ours is 135. That means more than 120 will come 135. Okay. So first let us join this 120. Okay. So this is A, B. Let's consider this as C. This whole thing is 120 this is 0 okay so whole thing is 120 now what we will do this is 120 and this point is 180 that means one from 180 this whole thing is 180 right this this much is 120 so from 180 you minus 120 how much we will get we'll get 60 okay from this 180 i am minusing this much this much i am minusing because this much is 120 this much if i minus now remain remaining this much is how much it will be it will be 60 so that 60 if i divide okay this much is 60 Okay, this much is 60. This if I divide equally half, then I'll get 30 and 30. Okay, so I'll divide 60 equally half. So how to divide equally between this point and this point? Let us take the measure. Okay, take your compass, measure this angle less more than half. Okay, this much is okay. Now draw the arc. Okay. Now keep the point on this 180. Draw another arc. Now join this point. This point. Okay. Let's name this as D. Okay. Now this D, A, B. Together how much it will be? Because this I said 60, right? Sorry, this is 120. I told the whole thing. This is 120, this whole thing. Okay. From C, A, B is 120. Now this remaining I told you 60. This 60 we have divided equally half. So that means this much this much is 30 this is 30 so this much is become 30 okay so 120 plus 30 gives us how much 120 plus 30 
gives us 150 degree. Okay, so we don't want 150, but we want 135. So that means this 30, if I am dividing, this 30, if I am dividing equally half, it will give me 15, then 120 plus 15 will give me 135. So that's what we are going to do. This 30, we will divide equally half, then we will get 15. So with 120, another 15 we join, then we will get 135. Is it clear? So take your compass, divide this 30 equally half. So how we will do this point and this point. Okay, this angle we will divide equally half. So take your compass, measure this. Okay, measure this angle more than half. Okay, then keep at this point and draw the arc. Now keep your compass at this point and draw the another. Now join this point. Okay. This is D. So this becomes our E. Now E a b together it will give us how much 135 because this is 120 this 30 we have divided equally half so that means this is how much this has become 15 so 120 plus 15 together gives us 135 so that means this angle up to here up to here this much is 135 is it clear? So let us verify now with the protractor. Take the protractor, you see this center point, center point should be coming on this point A and then you see this line, black line should be falling onto this red line. Then you will see where is 0, 0 is inside because we are starting our angle here, right? From here to here we are starting. So from here to here you have to see. 0 is here, from 0 you have to see, okay? So keep on this point A, the center and see that black line is coinciding with red color, okay? Now you see. So 0 is here, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 100, 110, 120, 130, this is 140. So 140, 130 in the center it is coming exactly. So this is 135 exactly. Okay, so we have verified it. Now you can write down the steps. Steps in your own words. Okay, so first what we did. Draw a ray AB, then at point A, at point A, draw an angle 120, right? So C, A, B, we have drawn 120. Okay. Then what we did, then we have at point A, draw an angle 150, okay. At point A, we have drawn 150 because this, this is 120. Then what we did, we drew this angle that is DAB. Because this is 60 degree, this 60 we had bisect, so it becomes 30. So together 120 plus 30 becomes 150, right? So DAB became 150. So you can write angle DAB 150. So now what we did? We bisect this angle, okay? Bisect angle. Which angle we bisect? This angle, right? D 
A D A and C. This this angle we did the bisect. D A C bisect angle. D A C such that we get angle E A C as fifteen degree. Okay, so fifteen degree we got. Because we bisect this, so this becomes fifteen, right? So now one twenty plus fifteen. This angle C A B is one twenty. Then E A C is fifteen. So together we get one thirty five. So angle C A B plus angle E A C together gives us. One thirty-five degree. Thus, we get the angle. Together, when we sum up, we will get angle E A B as one thirty-five. That's it. Thank you and God.